welcome to the Liquid Handling Bootcamp, where we bring the users and the vendors together. And today I have Hal Werberg here, who's going to talk about his instrument that we're using uh, at the Basic Liquid Handling Bootcamp. Hal, welcome. Thank you very much. Um, I'm Hal. I'm a product manager of software with TCAN, and uh, this is our Freedom Evo platform. And we're going to be using this uh, in the Basic Liquid Handling Bootcamp, and it can be used at other uh, other for different volume ranges. What kind of volume range is this uh, operating at? Uh, well, this is our eight-channel liquid handling arm. Um, it runs from half a microliter up to five milliliters, depending on what syringes and what options you have configured on the arm. Great. We, we also can use this with different liquid classes. Uh, what kind of liquid classes can it run with? Uh, this can do a wide range of liquid classes. Our software is actually very good at optimizing based on different viscosities. If you're running something more volatile like an ethanol or aqueous, it's very good at viscous. It can handle as well, and our software gives you a variety of options for optimizing that. This is the software here. Right? Uh, yep, and uh, this is our uh, liquid Liha, which actually has flow-through technology. It's very good for fixed tips as well. This one has disposable tips on it, but with the fixed tips, you can actually do the washing on the inside and outside of the tip. To reduce carryover. Well, that's a lot of the users will learn about that. Yes, yeah. I think you have a couple of different sensing technologies. For the we sensing. do have several. Um, this one here has the capacitance liquid level detection. So each finger we can spread out so we can access tubes all at the same time. And uh, the channels can move independently in Z so they can move up and down on their own and detect the surface of the liquid uh, either through capacitance like this arm here or through pressure with our uh, pressure monitor pipetting options. Uh, there's a lot of applications that uh, one can do on this. Uh, maybe you can summarize a few. Oh, well, the, yeah, the applications are, are wide and varied. We do a lot of drug discovery. We're uh, a lot in the medical industries. Uh, a lot of clinical diagnostics get done. Forensics we do quite a bit of. And uh, you'll see these also uh, in a wide variety of uses in academia. We're going to be using this at the Stanford one. We have a, a, a different one. Okay. And I know you have a new piece of equipment. We do. We're actually very excited to uh, be partnering with Hewlett Packard. We do. We're actually very <laughs> HP. <laughs> HP is funny. Uh, we're very excited to be partnering with Hewlett Packard to uh, be bringing you the HP D300, uh, which is it's designed for titrations. And what it can do is it can go from 13 picoliters to 5 microliters, and it allows you to replace the dilution in a serial dilution by dispensing your samples directly into the wells. So you can put 13 picoliters directly into whatever your target well is, instead of trying to dilute down to those volumes. Uh, and it, it speeds up the process and allows a lot of flexibility in the way you do the plate maps and all that kind of thing. It's a small benchtop instrument, and uh, we're very excited about it. I asked, you know, I showed it to my dad because he worked with inkjet printers. Okay. You know, for, yeah. You know, laser printers and uh, you know, paper printers, I should say. And this is kind of neat seeing this in uh, this area. It's absolutely, really absolutely. Al, thank you so much for uh, for, for supporting us and for being here and, and talking about it. All right. Thank you. Excellent.